What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Mass360 YouTube video. We appreciate you watching these videos. Please like these videos. If you like this type of content, subscribe and comment below what types of content around UEM MDM solutions you want from me and my team going forward. We will make it happen. In today's video, I am rejoined by Colin Schenk. Colin works on the technical engineering team. And for today, what we're going to be showing is what an admin goes through to push down certain actions on devices and also what it looks like on an employee's device to receive those actions within Mass360. Colin, thank you for hopping on. We appreciate it. Absolutely. It's always fun. Awesome. Yeah, so uh, today, uh, like you said, we're going to be talking about some device actions. Let me go ahead and share out my screen and uh, we'll get going. All right. Should be able to see that now. Yep. All right. So, um, yeah, we'll go straight into it. Obviously, we land on our home screen of the MOS 360 portal. What we'll be doing is going up to devices in our inventory page. We'll be working with just this uh, Android device today. Same actions apply to each device. They look a little differently based on the OS, but the concept is still the same. So. Okay. First thing we'll do is uh, just talk about these three buttons here, the locate message and buzz. Uh, locate, it's going to give you a real time location of the device. It'll be a little bit more accurate if it is connected to Wi-Fi. Um, if it's not, it'll give you kind of a radius of like, I think it's a quarter of a mile where the device may be, but um, still very accurate. So if you're looking for it in a building or a park, it'll give you that, that location. Okay. Kind of like a find my iPhone type app on an iPhone, but obviously we're in an Android right now. Exactly. So here it is. So sorry for the delay. Everything's still waking up, but there it is. Um, pretty accurate right now, um, just based because it's on Wi-Fi. Got it. All right. Uh, next one is a message. So, I mean, this is great. You can send messages out to groups of devices or an individual one. We'll do it in individual device today. Um, We'll say something like oh, office hours are changing. I'll send that. And, then and that's come... message, Colin, that the employees would get on their phone. It's like a, a notification, but they're not going to be able to respond to that message, right? It's just a notification. Correct. Yeah. So on the depending on how you have your notifications set, it'll often come up like a push notification or a banner notification on your device. And then if you go into the Moss 360 app, um, you'll see that message there and you can see it through that messaging system. So, Got it. All right, and the next one is a buzz. Um, it's basically an alarm. So if you're looking for a device, it'll buzz it. And then you have to actually shut it off from the device. You can add a message if you'd like. We're not going to now. Like an Amber Alert buzz yeah. type? Okay. Do you hear that? I do not. Is it no. be I can just beep it on your side? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very loud. And made my dog bark, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, did its job. Yeah. Um, all right, so then we'll go into the more menu here. Uh, first one, uh, a lot of people talk about is the lock. Um, so what this will do is automatically lock the device to the lock screen, and then um, it'll reset like the biometric so that you have to type in a passcode to do it. So that's that one. Go ahead and do it. And if you want to add comments, you may. Now, Colin, with lock, is there a difference between your control on a BYOD device versus corporate device pertaining to these actions? No. So it'll work the same exact way. Got it. All right. Let me just start my screen recording again here. It stopped when I locked everything. Okay. All right. And so the other thing, uh, nice thing about Android devices and iOS, uh, you can reset the passcode. Android, you actually reset the passcode right here. Um, so it'll give you the requirements based on the policy that we have, and you can reset it. You'd confirm it, add any comments you want, and then hit the continue button. So I won't do that right now, but that would 
be what it looks like. Now, Colin, real quick with reset passcode. For reset passcode, if I have a BYOD device, is that simply resetting the passcode to the container? And then the corporate issued devices is resetting the passcode to the device? So this passcode is actually the passcode to the device itself. Got not it. The, okay. Not the um, container. Gotcha. And then um, the other big one we talk about is wipe or selective wipe. This is a corporate owned device. So if I would click the wipe, it would actually wipe everything. Um, if it was a bring your own device environment or it's employee owned, we could do the selective wipe and take any corporate documents, apps, any policies off of that um, from the here. So yeah, that I mean, those are the big ones that we talk about. Uh, the other one too, I'll just mention is if you know your switching device is upgrading and then you need to remove control. This remove control uh, does the same thing of removing the control from MOS 360 of that device too. And Colin, so yeah, the quick, basic, yeah, yeah. Quick question about that selective wipe. Let's say an employee misplaces their phone. They're on a business trip in the airport. They misplaced their phone. They let you know you selective wipe that phone. The device is later found. Do I have to then get that phone and reset it up and reconfigure it up manually to get all that information back on? No, so we can actually just do this quick. Uh, we'll do a selective wipe on here. And so what's nice then is let's say they do find that phone we can come back here and revoke the selective wipe uh, and yeah, put okay. everything right back on how it was. Got it. So as an IT manager, I don't have to sit down and manually reset that device back up. It just automatically goes on the device once I hit revoke. Correct. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, those are the basic functions. Um, lots of things that you can do from this device view. Um, especially in this more menu. You can also do things over here as well. Uh, summary, hardware OS, security and compliance. Uh, one thing we talk about a lot is this hardware and OS. Um, actually just got a question this morning about if you can see the internal storage. Uh, you can. Um, so right here, you got a total of 107 gigs. Mm -hmm. And over here, free internal storage, 104. So not using that much. This screen looks a little differently on iOS, but still gives you the same information. And awesome. Another one thing, this location information. Some folks talk about a breadcrumb trail of where the device has been. This will be here in this um, screen. So if this device had moved, it would have a list right here of all the places it's been. Nice. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then well, yeah, also, uh, go ahead. I was going to say also, guys, in the more drop down, there is initiate remote support with our integration with Team Viewer. I did a separate video on that demoing what it looks like from an admin and also what it looks like for an employee when their device gets taken over for troubleshooting purposes. If you want to check that video out, just click above Colin in my head right here to check that video out. Cool. Awesome. Well, Colin, thank you so much for hopping on and doing another technical overview of Mass360. Guys, again, let us know what types of content you want to see from us going forward. Any questions you have or issues you're having around managing and securing your devices, and Colin and I will hop on here and do a video about it. But we appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and look out for these types of videos on a weekly basis. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. Perfect.